got another tutorial. This one's on Keynote, uh, to make an intro in Keynote and then bring it into, uh, well, it's basically for YouTube, this. So I thought I'd make this one, just show you how to use YouTube. This is what it looks like. And I'll show you how I produce this. Uh, very easy, doesn't take long to do. Um, I produce this in um, Keynote 09, so if you've got that, so what we're going to do first is we're going to choose a new theme from the themes. Uh, I'm using parchment, but you can use any of these if you scrub across and you get an idea what they look like. Okay, so we'll choose that. Now instantly it comes up, this is what you're confronted with, which you've got text that you can move around. We're not going to use this, I've already made one up to save some time because I don't have a lot of time for uploading onto YouTube. So. Here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to show you how to uh, get the inspector up. That's that button at the top. And this is the inspector. And as you can see, you've got a whole range of things there, text, objects, uh, graphs. Uh, we're going to use this one with the yellow triangle because uh, this is for the build. And you need the more, well, the draw at the bottom to show the build order. Okay, so these are the items we're going to shift around, but we're going to add some graphics first. I've made some graphics up beforehand. I'm going to slip two on here. Um, so that's it. And we're going to animate one of these objects, but first off, we're going to put a drop shadow on them. So if you highlight one of those graphics, I'll put a shadow, highlight that one, and shadow there. Okay, back to the triangle button. Uh, you can still move these around afterwards, so back to that. So let's do some action on this um, this graphic. I'm just put, you know putting it in the right position here. Okay, so we're going to make sure you're in the build with the yellow triangle. Click action. And on this one we're going to do move. Right, now instantly you'll see that we get uh, a move box. So I'll just zoom in. If you click and hold that red box in the center, you'll see some yellow lines come up for aligning the center. And then if you want another one, click the plus sign in the box. Watch your guides again, yellow lines. Uh, click that plus sign again and drag another one up to the top. Okay, position it where you want. Once you're happy with it, let go. You can drag it out of the corner to, to make it bigger and then basically push it into uh, place. Obviously your guidelines will make sure that you're keeping it square. Okay, that's that done. So we'll go to the build order now and basically click on the first one and then automatic after transition. Second one, automatically after build one. And the third one, automatically after build two. But this fourth one, we want to go automatically with build three. And if you have a look in the, the window, you can see what's actually happening uh, as we do that. Right, next one we're going to do is the wind divine, but this time it's build in tab that we want, and we're going to use fly in. Okay, so if we use fly in, that's what it'll look like. You get a preview of it, and we're going to do it automatically with build three. Okay, so you can see a preview as, as you do that. So that's that done on that. So we'll go to another one now and we'll choose, um, well, what we'll do is we'll drag in some graphics. We'll do those first. All right, these are four graphics that, you know, I've prepped up for this and we'll just arrange them. Just arrange them. Now you get guidelines here to, in order to, to space them out. You know, make sure the level is the yellow line. Just position them roughly where you want them to be. And you see the yellow line up here to say the thing. So what we'll do is we'll shift um, that one down a bit. It's, it's slightly in the way. Right, we need to select all four of those images there. We'll select them and then go up to the top, click Arranged, Distribute Objects Horizontally, and that will distribute them across the page evenly. Now while they're highlighted, we'll, we'll well, highlighted, we'll, we'll put a drop shadow in. So Go to uh, graphics and then click shadow. Go back to the build side 
bring that out and we're going to animate these objects so we use the building and we want the move in and we're going to go from right to left on this one okay choose the end one now and move in again and this one left to right we'll leave that choose the next one number two along move in and this one we're going to choose right to left and then the last one move in and we're going to choose right right to left on that so right so what what we're doing now is we're actually um posting the order automatically after build as we did in the last one automatically after build seven so this one automatically with build eight now the reason why is because you'll see now in the top preview what's actually happening okay you can change that around anytime you want let's um change this one we'll do uh, this one a fly in on this one uh, automatically after build nine and these two will highlight both of these these ones we're just going to use a move in on these and then automatically after prior build so click that and you can see the preview what's actually happening there there we are okay right now then the last one we've got is this graphic here so we'll, we'll do a move in on that one Move in, okay, and this one we're going to automatically after build 12. Okay, that's what it looks like. And all you need to do is save that. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Um, I'll put some more up later on. Cheers now, bye bye.